हेलो गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम संतोष सिंह एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी व्हाट आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कंप्रेशन टेक्निक्स इन अपाची स्कूप सो लेट्स सी दीज थिंग्स वन बाय वन एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल वाइल सेविंग डेटा टू एच डी एफ एस डिक्रीज द ओवरऑल साइज अकुपाइड ऑन एच डी एफ एस बायोजिंग कंप्रेशन टेक्निक्स एंड मेनली Three compression techniques are available in scope. First is G-zip compression technique. Second is snappy compression technique, and third is B-zip to compression technique. So in scope, mainly these three compression technique available. Scope use these three compression technique. And how scope use these three compression technique? We will see one by one. so double hyphen compressed is used to enable the compression double hyphen compression hyphen codec is used with specific compression algorithm we will see this thing with example we will see in few minute that how these things will use so let's see these things when using the double hyphen compressed parameter in scope command output file will be compressed using the gzip codec and all files will end up with a dot gz extension it means in case of gzip codec the file extension is gz when we use gzip compression technique so output file extension will be .gz when we use bzip2 compression technique then the output file extension will be .bzip2 and the third when we use snappy compression technique then file extension will be .snappy next point is gzip compression speed medium bzip2 compression speed slow and snappy compression speed is fast and now let's see the next point next point is gzip degree of compression is medium bzip2 degree of compression is high and snappy degree of compression is medium what is means of degree of compression degree of compression means suppose that we are going to compress 100 gb of data if we use bzip2 compression technique then that 100 gb of data becomes 30 gb of data and if we use gzip compression technique then that 100 gb of data will be near about 40 gb and if we use snappy compression technique then that 100 gb of data compressed near about 40 or 42 gb it means when we use bzip2 compression technique so it compress more data than these two compression technique let's see the next point you need to make sure the compressed map output is allow in your hadoop configuration file so now let's see before using compression technique we need to make sure that these settings in already set in mapred-site.xml file by default these settings is already set but we need to double check if we use any compression technique in scoop in scoop command so we need to make sure that that compression technique is already set in hadoop configuration file if that is not set then scoop will unable to compress data by using that compression technique so we need to check these things map reduce dot map dot output dot compress should be true and map reduce dot map dot output dot compress dot codec and in this we set the org dot apache dot hadoop dot io dot compress dot gzip codec means we can set gzip codec and next we can set snappy codec these all are the configuration we need to double check set compression property for snappy codec technique this is the configuration for snappy codec technique and this is the 
configuration for bgip2 codec technique by this way we can set the snappy codec and by this way we can set the bgip2 codec so now let's see that how these things are used in scoop so first we are going to see it gzip compressing technique by default scoop use gzip codec compression technique to enable compression parameter is double hyphen compression first we are going to see the gzip compression technique by using double hyphen compression in this we will not mention any compression technique we only mention double hyphen compression so so by default scoop use the gzip codec compression technique and this is the example in this example you can see that we only mention double hyphen compression so when this scoop command will execute then output will be like this cities gzip dot gz we execute this command then scoop will convert this output file means the cities imported data up cities table it convert in dot gz extension so now let's see the gzip compression technique by next way we can use gzip compression technique by using double hyphen compression hyphen codec space gzip codec so we can see this example in this example we can see that we are using double hyphen compression space codec space org dot apache dot hadoop dot io dot compress dot gzip codec so when we mention these things then scoop will convert the output file in dot gz extension and it automatically follow the gzip compression technique and in previous example we see we do not mention here the codec we only mention here double hyphen compress then by default scoop follow the gzip codec technique it means this example and this example is same only difference is mentioning the parameter for gzip technique so we can use gzip compression technique by using two way either we can use double hyphen compression or we can use double hyphen compression hyphen codec space org dot apache dot hadoop dot io dot compress dot gzip codec so by these two way we can use gzip compression technique so now let's see the next compression technique so here we are going to import data by using snappy compression technique as we are seeing the example in this example we mention double hyphen compression hyphen codec space org dot apache dot hadoop dot io dot compress dot snappy codec it means when scoop execute this command then it compress the this output data by using snappy codec technique and the extension of snappy codec file is dot snappy it means the output of this file will be like cities underscore snappy dot snappy so it means the output of this file on this location on this hdfs location will be cities underscore snappy dot snappy if you want to use snappy compression technique then you can use by this way and now let's see the next compression technique and as we know that snappy compression technique is very fast it compress data very quickly next compression technique is, is bgip2 compressing technique so this is the example in this example we can see that we mention bgip2 compression technique by this way if we mention double hyphen compression hyphen codec space org dot apache dot hadoop dot io dot compress dot bgip2 codec then the output of this file will be like cities underscore bgip2 dot bgip2 means extension of bgip2 codec technique is dot bgip2 so so like this way when scoop execute this statement then it will convert this output data into 
डॉट बी जिप टू एक्सटेंशन बाई यूजिंग बी जिप टू कोडेक कंप्रेशन टेक्निक एंड एज वी नो दैट कंप्रेशन स्पीड ऑफ बी जिप टू कोडेक टेक्निक इज वेरी स्लो बट डिग्री ऑफ कंप्रेशन ऑफ बी जिप टू कोडेक टेक्निक इज वेरी हाई सो बाई दिस वे टूडे वी हैव सीन थ्री कंप्रेशन टेक्निक फर्स्ट इज जी जिप सेकेंड इज स्नेपी एंड थर्ड इज बी जिप टू इसको फॉलो दीज थ्री कंप्रेशन टेक्निक्स सो थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग एंड प्लीज प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल थैंक यू सो मच